I have some legal advice. Don't confess to crimes on rap lyrics if you do not want them used, or at least get out of my county. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about what you just saw, which was Atlanta District Attorney, or to be more exact, the Fulton County DA, Fanny or Fanny Willis, talking about cleaning up the county. And she's going to go about this by indicting people that could be rappers, celebrities, famous household names, all of the above. And the question is why? Well, these people, many of them, especially the rappers, have been terrorizing Atlanta for a very long time. Okay, she just indicted Young Thug and Gunna. They're in jail. Not just Young Thug and Gunna, but the entire YSL, their affiliates. It's like, a, a, it's a slew of guys. I'm not sure how many, 50, 100, 200. I don't know how many, but it's a slew of guys. What I do know is that the gang or the record label, whatever you want to call it, that Young Thug and Gunna are affiliated with are tied to... 50, 50 murders in the Atlanta area over the past, I think, maybe three or four years. In a very short period of time, they've wreaked a lot of havoc. Now, some are upset at Miss Willis talking about, oh, she's targeting the black community, targeting rappers, trying to bring down rap music. I'll talk about that a little bit later. But first, let's look at a little bit more of what she's doing She's got Young Thug and Gunna. They are in jail. Now there's a drug rich gang. But after we get done watching that, I'll come back. I'll talk about what she said there. Then I'll give you the rest of my two cents and my deep detail analysis. And then I'll wrap it on up with a nice bow on top. So without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. I'm not targeting anyone, but however, you do not get to uh, commit crimes in my county and then decide to brag on it, which you do that for a form of intimidation and to further the gang and not be held responsible. One of the lyrics in, used in this indictment, just one of the lyrics is, me and my crew striking out, striking in all black. Send me the drop. We'll kick in the house. If we steal a car, we're going to take off the tag. Well, they kick it indoors, committing home invasions. Uh, and now I'm using those lyrics that they're admitting to doing that. I'm going to continue to do that. People can continue to be angry about it. Um, I have some legal advice. Don't confess to crimes on rap lyrics if you do not want them used, or at least get out of my county. I'm not targeting anyone. We are aware that crimes have occurred in other jurisdictions, but what this indictment primarily covers are the 16 crimes that committed here in Fulton County. Um, the victims, they do not discriminate, but what they did do is target people who show their wealth on social media. Um, so I do have a message for the public where it is kind of fun to put your things on social media and show off. Unfortunately, these gangs are becoming more savvy more sophisticated in the way that they target you. And this is a way that we know that they targeted these individuals. And it's because of these great detectives work where they were able to show that they were following these individuals and using it to their advantage. Some of the celebrity victims included Calvin Ridley, who is a loved member of our Falcons, Brad Guzan, who is a loved member of the Atlanta United team, Marlo Hampton, who is on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, and Brittany Mealy, who is the mother of Future's child. All very well-known celebrities that who have decided to take residence right here in Metro Atlanta because this is a great place to live and we cannot tolerate this. But don't be fooled. This indictment also covers other individuals who are not as famous but also had their wealth on social media. Um, lots of social media influencers. The incidences that are in here is, thank God we don't have a murder, but we have a uh, kidnapping. We have armed robberies, we have shootings, and we have home invasions, very violent crimes, things that cannot be allowed in our county, and all done again at the hands of crime, at the hands of gangs. All right, so you saw that, you heard that. Now, I don't see anything wrong with what she's doing. This needs to happen. When you have these guys, a lot of them are pretty young. It don't really matter. You're not going to have necessarily 40-year-old guys or, you know, senior citizens walking out here, uh, First time game bangers, you're going to have these young 15, 16, 20 something year old guys that are out here doing the damage. These guys are targeting celebrities, targeting Mariah Carey, Marlo Hampton, Future, 
et cetera, they're also targeting guys like me, social media influencers, because they think that they have money or they know they have money. There's no murders, but you got very violent crimes. So why wouldn't she target these guys? Why not? After all, you need to have Atlanta be safer because I live not far from Atlanta. I'm in Atlanta all the time. And there's a certain air of danger depending upon where you are and what time you're there. Okay, certain time of the night, if you're in Buckhead, Midtown, Downtown, it can get weird. It, it might be totally fine. You might have a great time. Or you might get shot at. You, you might be driving your Dodge Hellcat all of a sudden, you hear your window shatter, and you feel a sharp pain in your arm. It's like that in Atlanta. Or a bunch of property crime, um, burglary, home invasion, things of that nature do happen in Atlanta. It could be in a nice area or in a bad area. And really... The problem was going on now is that the crime is not just centralized in some of the, the more impoverished areas where you know crime is going to happen. You try to you try to reduce that, but at the same time, you know crime is going to happen in an impoverished area. That's just part of it. But now you're having crime go to Buckhead. You know, you're paying three, four, five grand a month for rent. You would think that you would be a little bit safer, but that's not necessarily the case. This is part of the reason why Buckhead, the community that is uh, more wealthy, that's in Atlanta wants to become its own city because APD can only do so much that the crime's out of control. So the Fulton County DA is trying to make a dent in that. However, some say that her efforts are not in good faith because she's targeting rappers trying to attack rap music. Like see the Lord's Tucker back in the day when she was the one talking about how violent gangster rap was and wanted to censor it. And I think she pushed for, what became the parental advisory stickers. If you guys are my age or a little bit older, you know that when you would buy tapes or CDs, there was a sticker on the bottom for explicit lyrics. You got gangster rap music, game banker talking about shoot, shoot, kill, kill, murder, murder. That was deemed to be a bad influence. And talk about that right quick. I'm not really sure that the lyrics necessarily an influence on people committing crime. But what I will say is that it doesn't help. <laughs> it most certainly doesn't help because when you have guys that are already in the bad area and they have this 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 soundtrack to commit tr crime to, it just it, it, it makes it worse, you see. But if you are in a nicer area, you have both of your parents and you're raised properly, you, you come from a good household, that music would not affect you the same way, or at least it shouldn't. If you come from a nice two-parent household and a nice community, you have good education, great family, extended family, you live in the American dream, and then you get to be 25 years old and decide to, and decide to become a game banger. I don't understand the mentality there. I don't really get it. You're just weak-minded at that point, but that's a different story, and I digress. I'm not necessarily sure that the lyrics play that much of an influence on people, but what I will say is that a lot of these guys that have the violent lyrics are confessing to crimes that they have committed. They're telling on themselves. People want to get mad at guys like DJ Vlad talking about, oh, well, DJ Vlad, he's the police. He asked these questions that gets these guys locked up. Well, first of all, if the guys weren't criminals to begin with, then there'd be no risk of them being locked up, first of all. But second of all, maybe these guys should be a little bit smarter and not confess to crimes on DJ Vlad during an interview on YouTube, nor should they say these things in rap music. Now, there was a... I think there's a bill. I forget what it's called. I think it's called the Rap Act. And I think um, two guys introduced it. I did a video on that, and I'll link to that in the description. But the Rap Act seeks to prevent rappers and other people's, like, music artists' lyrics from being used against them in the court of law. But, I mean, come on. You just heard what she said. It's like, look, if, if the guy's talking about what they do specifically, it's like, okay, I went to... West Paces Ferry Road at 1212 XYZ Street, and I robbed uh, this particular person from Instagram. I took this, I took that, I took it back to my house, and I sold it. And then the police follow these leads, and everything comes back to actually have happened. And they find uh, <laughs> that they find tape of you breaking into their house, they find the stolen items at your house. I mean, come on, how can they not use that? You're giving them the roadmap, you're giving them. A, a blueprint you're, you're giving them 
the treasure map. And if they go to the X on the map and they find the treasure, how can you blame them for finding the treasure? You gave it to them. You gave it to them. You know, maybe some rappers should be a little bit more creative and not just talk about things that they do for real that are illegal. Maybe that should be what they do. Targeting hip hop. Really? Is that what's going on? Targeting the black community. Really? Is that what's going on? Then if you're targeting the black community, why are 90% of the people that are victims black as well? What's the black community got to do with it? If, if anything, we're talking about black on black violence here, not the, the police are trying to attack black people because they're rappers and they're successful and they're jealous. That's just a ridiculous thing to say. It doesn't make any kind of sense. So all you super fans of Young Thug and Gunna and whatnot, I got to stop. You, you guys, not you guys who are watching, you guys are big brain geniuses. And I love every one of y'all. I'm talking about those super fans of Young Thug that listen to everything they say, you know, using their lingo, calling themselves part of the YSL gang. These guys are calling the police, making threats, talking about the DA better back off. I'm going to do X, Y, and Z. See, now you're getting yourself wrapped up in it for no good reason. Why must you now put yourself in a line of fire as far as being prosecuted? These these threats are real. You cannot make criminal threats against them. You're going to call the police and threaten them? Are you stupid? Are you silly? People need to just stop pump their brakes, stop being such mega fans and understand that crime is real and crime in Atlanta is most certainly real. This, this is not pretend. This is not just for Instagram. This is not just for rap lyrics. People have really died. They have really been home invaded, burgled. Uh, their, their sense of safety has been depleted because of these gangs. Take them down, put them in the penitentiary and have them making big rocks and a little rocks. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? How do you feel about what's going on here with um, the the Fulton County DA being accused of targeting hip hop, targeting rappers in an unfair way? When in reality, these guys allegedly have a bunch of murders under their belt, a bunch of home invasions, kidnappings, burglaries, you name it. Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. You guys know where I stand. These criminals need to go away. I don't care what color they are. They could be black, white, Puerto Rican, candy stripe. I don't care. You out here committing violent crime, especially home invading, kidnapping, shooting and killing. And you, you got to go. You, you have to go because we all want safety. We all want to be safe in our homes. We want safety for ourselves and for wives and children. We got to have it. If you are not prepared to live in society like that, to be peaceful in society, you shall be removed from society. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And as all I got to say for this video, if you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.